Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. Uh, this time around I have some current last gen video game pickups to show you guys. All of these are last gen games though. And I'm going to start out with this one here. Uh, basically the story behind this is that lately I've been finding a lot of empty game cases and it really sucks. Uh, especially when I see them at the Value Village because usually they just hold on to them and throw them out or even put them back on the shelf sometimes which kind of really sucks and is stupid and pointless but uh, I guess they hope for the day that somebody comes in doesn't look inside the case and just purchases it anyways and gets screwed over later and causes a problem for them when they have to return something but who knows uh, everybody's been giving Value Village a lot of hate lately so I should probably not jump on that bandwagon but it's just how it goes uh, value village is just becoming ridiculous but then again a lot of retailers are just getting really really ridiculous um, but anyways I found this game here in my uh, nearby thrift store this tiny little place um, I walked in took a look around uh, they didn't really have anything I found this though behind the counter. I asked the guy if I could take a look at it. Uh, he passes it to me, I open it up, and the game was missing. And I wondered how a game that was behind the counter got stolen. But who knows, they could have even priced it without even looking inside the case. Uh, but yeah, I ended up saying to the guy that, like, hey, the game is missing, and he just took it back and said, oh, well, sorry about that, and tossed it in the garbage. So I asked the guy, well, uh, if you're going to throw it out, can I just have the case? And he said, yeah, sure, whatever, and uh, passed it over to me. It's the case for New Super Mario Bros. for the uh, DS, and it had the manual inside, uh, but no Club Nintendo ports or anything else. But then again, I don't remember if this game even came with Club Nintendo ports, it's kind of early DS game. Um, anyways, I grabbed that case for free, and most likely I'll just uh, take the insert of the manual out of this and use it to store a loose game. Uh, next up, I got this PSP game from the uh, Value Village that I usually go to. Uh, they had a ton of PSP games there, and a lot of them were already stolen, which really sucks. Uh, usually PSP and DS games, when they put them out, they get stolen uh, very often, very easily, and it just, it really sucks. But I found this one here, and it was in a completely beat-to-hell case, uh, but I swapped it out for another case, so at least it looks somewhat better. It's still a pretty dirty case, but I'll, I'll just clean it up. Uh, the game is Metal Gear Acid on the PSP. And they had this priced at $4.99. They had all of their UMDs, so including movies, and uh, there were a couple of TV shows there as well. But all their UMDs were priced at $4.99, which is kind of high. But at that value village, they usually price uh, PSP games and uh, DS games at uh, $4.99 if they're in the case. And sometimes more if they think it's a valuable game. Uh, and then the last two games that I wanted to show you guys are two games that I got at an EB Games. I found out that this EB Games has a lot of PAL games, a whole bunch of Australian games, a couple of Japanese games, and even one, just I think, general Asian uh, version of a game. Uh, but it did say that it had uh, Chinese subtitles as well. Um... It was like a version of Heavy Rain, like an Asian version. Uh, but apparently the guy told me that at their location, as long as it's a game that came out in North America and it's for the uh, PS3, they just they take all versions of it. He doesn't really care. So, I mean, some of the, uh, the versions from other regions have nicer cover art, uh, but then other ones are exactly the same. Uh, but it's nice to see them, and if there's ever anything with uh, uh, interesting cover art, then I know to go there, and uh, hopefully I can find it. Uh, 
because uh, I know at a whole lot of other EB games, they just, uh, they don't accept that at all, basically saying that there's no ESRB rating on the case, but it's kind of strange because there's tons of games from other regions in the sort of EB games system. Uh, anyways, that's just a little side story. Uh, I saw a whole bunch of games like that, but there wasn't anything too interesting. Um, I was most interested in these two games. Uh, the first one is a Wii game, a game that I passed up a little while back and have regretted it ever since uh, for not picking it up. Uh, basically, I let someone else sort of tell me... Uh, pretty much not to buy this game uh, because I chose to believe what they told me and that was that this game here is basically just um, it's not a sequel it's just a, a, a version of a game that already came out uh, like a sorry a port a port of a game uh, and it's Tales of Symphonia Dawn of the New World and I honestly didn't care if it was a port or a sequel or whatever the hell. I wanted this game, and EB Games only has it priced at like thirteen dollars. Um, that's with your Edge Rewards membership or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but they had it at around thirteen dollars, like thirteen and change. And ever since the first day that I saw this in a Value Village, Value Village, uh, EB Games. Sorry about that. Ever since the first day I saw this at an EB Games and considered buying it and I was told that, I've had zero luck in locating another copy of it and I finally found another one uh, entirely complete, which is definitely um, a plus in my book. And at $13, it was definitely a fair price because I have found a couple other ones in some used game stores, but they've wanted like thirty forty dollars for this game and that's just ridiculous uh... and then the other game that i got as well at the same time uh... this one here was about seventeen dollars so together i paid thirty dollars for these two games and i thought seventeen dollars was a good deal for this game as well because it came with a blu-ray copy of the uh... movie that this game is associated with and i actually really liked the movie i really liked the graphic novel as well and uh, to get in a combo pack like this is pretty interesting. Uh, the only thing that's missing out of this, I believe there was some kind of a small like art book leaflet. Not really an art book, just like a couple of flimsy pages really. But it was missing that, which kind of sucks, but everything else is there. It's Watchmen, the complete, sorry, the complete experience, Watchmen, the end is nigh. So it has uh, the beat em up, which is called Watchmen Then Does Nigh, as well as the movie inside there. It has a slip cover on top of it that I dropped on the floor. Sorry about that. Uh, I haven't heard great things about this beat em up, but if it's a beat em up and it has Watchmen characters, then that's good enough for me. Uh, so, first up, it has parts one and two of the game over here. The manual for the game in French and English are inside there. And then the movie on Blu-ray, and it's the, uh, the director's cut, uh, is right there as well. Uh, now, there was a chance that this one here uh, wouldn't come with the movie, and the guy had to double-check to see that the movie was there because uh, they count it as sort of bonus material, even though... Uh, it's pretty much the reason for buying this. It's like a combo pack. But EB Games counts things like this as um, bonus material and is not necessary for trade-in, which kind of sucks. Uh, but that's a story for another video. Uh, anyways, that's all I got. Uh, four more, well, three more games and a game case for the collection. Uh, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas... Uh, anything at all, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, website. They're all linked in the description below. Um, that's it. See ya.